before he was a presidential candidate. And I've been saying for years, keep the oil, keep the oil, don't let them have the oil. Before he was a reality TV star, you're fired. Donald Trump was a New York tabloid fixture. All through the 1980s, Trump was busy building something new, and it wasn't a skyscraper. Billionaire developer Donald Trump has put his name on a New York City hotel, shopping center, and apartment buildings, as well as a casino in Atlantic City. And now he's going to put his name on a big piece of Eastern Airlines. Trump was creating a public persona, one that could be both funny and demeaning, arrogant and somehow in touch with the common man. I sort of love and hate him at the same time. I mean, I think he has, you know, a monumental ego. He comes off as being very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Arrogant? Yeah, he's, an, he's, he's arrogant. <laughs> I like him. You do? Man's got a maid, got everything. He often did this by picking fights. He said, I think Donald Trump is an artful liar. I think he is a greedy, vicious, and arrogant man. Well, I don't know, is that supposed to be a compliment or not? I'm, I'm not sure. He waged a years-long battle with New York City Mayor Ed Koch. I, I hope that New York City has a different mayor at some point, because I think Ed Koch is a total disaster. He's been a very bad mayor for the city. He helped launch a competitor to the NFL called the U.S. Football League, and then launched a lawsuit against the NFL when the USFL failed. The jury in the case delivered its verdict. It ruled the NFL did indeed monopolize pro football, but it awarded damages of just $1. And in one of his biggest fights of the 1980s, he went up against media mogul Merv Griffin in a fight over a casino in Atlantic City. People realize now that Merv made a bad deal. It's unfortunate that he's taken a fall, but he has taken the fall. Nothing much I can do about it. Donald loves that perception. I won, I won, I won. He is still, you know, a year later standing in New York going, I won, I won, I won. He wants to make sure everybody in America knows he won. But the Donald Trump we know today is more than just a boastful brawler. That's because there's one more tactic that Trump apparently learned in the 80s and uses to great effect on the campaign trail today. Keep people guessing about any long-term plans. Mr. Trump, what's left in your life? You're 33 years old, you're worth all this money. You say you didn't say that you want to be worth a billion dollars. No, I really don't. I just want to keep busy and keep active. Could a billion dollars buy the White House? What do you think? Well, Does I don't money think it can. give you? I know a lot of the politicians. I like a lot of the politicians. They're friends of mine. Trump carefully cultivated speculation about his future. In 1987, he ran a full-page ad in major newspapers that read like a political manifesto. A blow-up of the ad is now on display at Trump Tower on Fifth Avenue. The ad was irresistible to the New York press, and the move kept Trump's name in the news. Trump has said quite seriously that he's a good enough bargainer to negotiate a nuclear disarmament treaty with the Russians. This is not a wealthy country. People think America, you know, wealth, this and that. The Japanese are saying that. What a wealthy country. I mean, they're saying it and they're laughing. The country's losing $200 billion a year. We ought to go in the next time they fire so much as a bullet at one of our ships, we ought to go in and take over their oil. With each of these instances, Trump refined his playbook. His attacks... Steve, you're going to have to start pushing these people now a little bit because it's getting a little ridiculous as far as I'm concerned. His boasts... We'll probably sell an extra 10,000 season tickets, and that's a lot of tickets. And his shifting positions... Do you have the, the genes to be a successful politician? Well, you never really know. I, I think I'm pretty outspoken, and that's not probably a good thing in terms of a politician, but it's a good thing if you ever got elected, you can really do a job. Now, even back in the 80s, many found Trump's over-the-top personality distasteful. What may be most discouraging of all is that Palm Beach will accept almost anything if it's got enough money, but somehow it will not accept Donald Trump. But by playing the role of an unpredictable bully with the Midas touch, Trump showed he couldn't easily be ignored. I believe that perhaps I'm portrayed differently than I, I actually am. I believe I'm portrayed in a rougher sense than the actual product. And I hope that's true, because I hope the actual product is a lot more mellow than the portrayal. And that may be his biggest asset of all. When people attack Trump, they reinforce the version of Trump that Trump wants people to see. And inevitably, that keeps Trump's name in the news.